this is a Taff farm tractor. Um, it has a Mitsubishi engine in it. Mits. Uh, 28, uh, they ran up 28 and then 30. I guess 28 before they hook anything to it. But. It's a good motor, diesel. Yeah, it's rated uh, gross. 30 horsepower. Actually, I don't give a 28 horsepower rating on this, but I've seen one in a different tractor, and it it gives it the opposite. It gives a 28 um, net horsepower. It's the exact same motor. Farm track has this, its exact same machine, matter of fact. But it's a good motor. It's a good tractor, as far as that goes. But anyhow, I have 1,500 hours on it, and. Uh, to me, it sounds like a valve was tapping. And I'm not sure, maybe it's my imagination. So, and you're supposed to every 500 hours adjust the valve lash. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, I, I, it, I think I did it one other time when it had 500 hours on it. And I don't think it did much or nothing. But, I figured I got a little bit of time. I'm going to pull it apart take the valve pan cover off and just adjust them up. Anyway, the first thing I gotta do is take that uh, muffler off. It sits right on top there. I need to get myself a little bit longer set of uh, open end wrenches. I got the muffler off and now I think there's only five or six bolts. I'll hold the rest of it on. Which is actually pretty simple. Snug. I think I got everything out. Maybe not. There we go. That a oh, rubber. I sent for a gasket in case I needed it. Bell pan gasket. It's just a rubber gasket. Oh. I wanted to make sure I had one on hand since it's not it's not something I could just go over and and get from a uh, parts store. I don't know if I need to put these bolts back in the same spot, but I'm going to try to do that just in case. But I guess it looks, I guess you would consider that clean. So the, the, I'm doing it by the book, uh, maintenance book, and it, and it wants me to loosen the, all the head bolts up and just slightly and then re, uh, retighten them, retorque them down. But in order to do that, I had to take the rocker arm off. So now I'm going to loosen all the head bolts and then retighten them. This is just slightly, so I don't know what that means. It looks slightly to me. one and 
next one. Which isn't as big as deal as it looks. I don't think you can put it on backwards. No, you can't. Okay, that's torqued down. Now, need to adjust the valves. So I gotta find top dead center of number one cylinder. All of them, actually. Okay, yeah, I can get the mark off the flywheel and at least get. Uh, either top dead center or 360 degrees off one or the other but if I make it a little tight it should be fine I would think. I would say that's probably pretty good. The intake or the exhaust is the same. So those are both pretty good. The tricky part is holding it still. And then tightening this part up. Check it. A little tight, but that's all right. That's actually a little loose. No, that's not bad. But then I got to do the rest of them. Just glad it's not an eight cylinder or six. And I just install the rock arm cover. Be done.